This is breaking news. Mayor Adams and FDNY officials held a briefing a short time ago to even update on that explosion that caused two houses to catch fire in Brooklyn. Here's what they had to say. Thank you. As we all can see by now, this has been a busy month. Uh, it seemed to be nonstop, but you know, when you have the right professionals in place, you're able to navigate these challenging times. Uh, here was an explosion. There was a smell of gas. As you see, there are three builders that are involved. It appears as though the origin of this explosion took place in an unoccupied building. The building next door was occupied. Uh, as it stands now, uh, the preliminary investigation re reveals that we don't appear to have anyone that was inside the building that was totally destroyed. Uh, OEM is here on the scene. Commissioner Fowler should give you updates on those uh, that were displaced in the neighboring uh, buildings and structures that were there. Uh, in addition to that, uh, FDNY is going to give you an update on the prelim preliminary investigation on the origin of the ex explosion. So I'm joined here also with the councilman in this area, uh, Ari Kagan. Uh, Ari, thank you for coming out uh, to immediately respond to the needs of the people on this block. But this is still early, uh, but from what we see now, we had an unoccupied building that uh, was involved in this in this explosion. Three billion buildings, as I stated, were involved. Uh, and we'll, let's get a you know, full overview first, first from the Deputy Commissioner, uh, FDNY Commissioner Kavanaugh, and then we'll hear from uh, Commissioner of uh, FDNY Chief uh, uh, Hodgins to give us the understanding. And finally, we'll hear from uh, OEM to talk about those who were impacted. Hold on, ma'am, 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 ma'am. Listen, ma'am, listen. Let me report on what happened here, and I'm going to speak to your questions later, okay? That's the preventing the future. We reportedly call to fire Go ahead. Go ahead. Hi, Commissioner Kavanaugh, First Deputy Commissioner of Fire Department. A call came in at 7-11 this morning to FDNY dispatch, a report of a major explosion in a house. We immediately dispatched units uh, 1060, a major emergency, and we arrived on scene in three and a half minutes. As you can see behind us, and as the mayor mentioned, the building that exploded was vacant at the time or unoccupied. In the other two buildings, the residents were able to self-evacuate um, and are safely uh, outside and being uh, taken care of by OEM. Good morning, John Hodgins, Chief of Department, FDNY. As stated, we, hit, we had an explosion in an unoccupied building. Our units arrived in three and a half minutes. At this time, there was nobody reported missing. Um, all three buildings will need to be um, taken down uh, due to structural damage. We, um, we are going to, just as a precaution, sift through the rubble of the buildings. Um, we, there's no re reported people missing, but just just to be sure, as we pull out the debris, our units will be on the scene to look through the rubble. Um, first few units did report an odor of gas, and with the, it is under investigation. The fire marshals and the uh, police uh, department will be doing a full investigation to determine the exact cause of this emergency. Hello. Uh, as was reported, the building was vacant. The two buildings next door, there are two families. Um, everyone's accounted for. There's an MTA bus nearby. The families are on the bus with the Red Cross uh, to get whatever assistance, housing, clothes, food, whatever assistance they need. Uh, we're bringing in the heavy equipment with the operational agencies to uh, do the demolition. And uh, also the school on the corner, we're working with them so uh, all the um, children when school is is let out can be um, let out orderly but we're here for the residents uh, whatever they need through the Red Cross and through other city agencies uh, we can assist them yeah uh, the gas and electricity is being turned off to the block so it can safely be excavated uh, we will work through the day um, we think that it most likely will be for those three buildings so uh, the people in the other buildings will be able to um, stay here, but if there are special issues with any of the buildings and the residents that need to be impacted or assessed, uh, we'll be here and we'll be helping all of the residents. 
Uh, so six people is um, that are the ones that are being assisted by the Red Cross. Uh, the other people, there are no vacant orders for any of the other buildings on this block at this time. Mayor, uh, uh, for the mayor and then for the chief, uh, for the mayor, um, infrastructure in the city. We've got another natural gas explosion here, and it's been happening a lot. What can you say about that? And for the chief, um, just to sort the stability of the buildings on either side. Uh, no, it's not. Ha it hasn't been happening a lot. This is the second one that I res uh, responded to since taking office. Uh, but we want to make sure that people are knowledgeable about it. They smell gas. Uh, we we're going to include and increase the amount of response that people smell gas. That's so important. That's the first sign that there's a potential problem and National Grid responds right away when there's a smell of gas. Chief, uh, stability. Yes, as and the mayor stated, too. we want to, you know, make it very, as the mayor stated, we want to make it very clear if there is an odor of gas, you should call 911. Um, the fire department will immediately respond to investigate. As far as the stability of these buildings, all three will need to be demolished due to the uh, structural damage. Chief, what can you tell us about uh, the smell of gas that neighbors have been complaining about for several weeks and months? I guess National Grid came out to investigate, they didn't find anything, but have you been told about the complaints of natural gas in this neighborhood? We have no reported, uh, you know, factual uh, report of gas uh, prior to this incident. So neighbors said they called National We have no record of that, uh, you know, of them calling National Grid. I know they did not call the fire department. Uh, that's an important message. If you smell gas, should you call National Grid or should you call the fire department? You should call the fire You should call 911. If you smell natural gas, you should call 911. So, it's Mayor, just to follow up on what Miles said, there have actually been three houses that have exploded. I think one was right before you took office. Cypress Hills. Uh, probably Cypress Hills, the Bronx, and now here. These have all been in recent months. So, uh, this clearly concerning to people who see this happening with more frequency. What would be your message to the government about that? Well, uh, first of all, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's crucial that uh, we make sure that any report of smell of gas, 911, and that information has to get out to the public. Every report of smell of gas is investigated. No report is ignored, no report is put in, and we just discount it. We take the smell of gas seriously, and that is something that if there was a failure to report, we're going to determine that. But if there were calls made to 911, the proper agencies are dispatched to determine if the gas is a, is a serious matter. And I say to New Yorkers to follow that. This is a system that is successful and that's working. Uh, I've had the smell of gas on my block and I called and immediately Na National Grid was dispatched or FDNY was dispatched. That's the message to New Yorkers. You smell gas, it's a unique smell, immediately call 911 so we can get the teams out there to investigate. Is it time Thank to move the city away from, national, uh, from natural gas to electric? <laughs> that's a great question. That's outside my pool. Uh, plan, you know, I think that uh, the proper uh, individuals who determine that, the city council and others, uh, to sit down and think about that. Uh, we, but we're a strong believer that we should move to uh, get off of fossil fuel. I believe that wholeheartedly. That we should look at other methods, methods of uh, heat, hot water, and running our city. And that's part of my environmental plan. But right now, we're dealing with this emergency. Thank you all.